guys welcome back to another painting on a wooden block and i have done this kind of video earlier and i really wanted to do this uh this one another time because um i really like the way acrylic felt on wood and uh and like the way it went it glides on very smoothly and it works like it feels like oil paint basically on uh on a, a wooden texture and i really like the way it uh, the previous uh, paintings turned out and i really wanted to have some mini decorative pieces for my uh, room because i have just shifted uh, to another home and i wanted to do something uh, to redecorate or just to paint off some painting and uh, this wooden piece i got hand off of the work which was going on around in my like in laws house and they had this wooden work going on so i just picked up some of the uh, spare wooden pieces that uh, were not in use and so i just went in and just slightly with uh, a pencil i outlined the um, structure of sunflower and then i went ahead with the acrylic paints that are very easily available in india and uh, anywhere uh, you'll get it for 20 bucks and it's just very easy to get your hands on you can directly go on a, a plywood piece or you if you have a wood primer i would suggest a wood primer before going in with any sort of paint uh, i have applied wood primer overnight and left it out uh, so that uh, I get a very blank canvas, and my colors would appear much brighter. And that was another reason why I used a wood primer because having a white base surface is just really nice for you to uh, create uh, stuff. And I really like the way uh, things appeared in my last video and my last, uh, uh, I would say. Mm, acrylic painting which i did on wood and i really like the way it turned out so again i'm going in i i've just used three colors here the lemon yellow and uh, another one was orange mixed with a red little bit of red and uh, i did use like uh, for the middle part of the flower i used a uh, burnt cyan uh, and i mixed a little bit of orange to the lemon yellow color uh, with a with a hint of black to it uh, to make it a dull pale color and uh, it's just uh, it's just the way you mix colors uh, it was kind of becoming difficult for me uh, because i had to i was actually not checking it on a paper i was directly doing it on this wooden piece and uh, you can see there i am actually intentionally fraying away the edges of the uh, uh, center part of the sunflower uh, because i wanted that look of an oil paint uh, and i am going in with a dry brush i'm not taking any water and uh, this type of technique is very nice for blending out uh, acrylic paints and that is what i've seen uh, particularly on wooden pieces so we are moving on with the next illustration i i felt like that was uh, done enough and for this piece i wanted to do something minimalist uh, something very simple very uh, i would say black and white for me minimal minimalism is something uh, to do with uh, just two colors or maybe just one color it can be black and white it can be any other just one color but um for now i've seen many pieces uh, pieces of uh, in black and i really like the way they look on wall and i must say this uh, sketch which i'm doing here i would uh, like i got the inspiration from one of the lone fox video and i would definitely link that down below he actually did a home decor piece uh, he painted of this kind of eye on a pillow case so and i wanted to paint it off on a canvas it could look really nice 
and he also told that he actually took an inspiration like he takes inspiration from pinterest so you can say kind of in a way that uh, it's it's actually taken from pinterest like he got inspired by some piece i couldn't find one but i was inspired by the by the way he drew it so i just decided on doing this minimalistic piece and i think it turned out to be pretty nice and i initially i was planning on using a flat brush but uh, i don't know how i turned how to be like i i was not planning on using a round brush but i did use it and i think it turned out to be nice so moving on with the next uh, this piece i wanted to paint off some true blue eucalyptus uh, branches and these are not really easily available and i've heard that true blue eucalyptus smells really amazing especially if you keep it in your shower or uh, near any diffuser it gives off a really nice smell and uh, getting hold of a like really nice eucalyptus branches is very difficult uh, in india especially you will get those uh, willow eucalyptus it's a type of eucalyptus leaves uh, that are like long elongated you must have seen long white trees like trees with white bark on it and they are extremely tall and and they have this uh, sickle shaped leaves that is how i would call and that is the variant of uh, eucalyptus that you will mostly find in uh, india and i i don't think true blue eucalyptus is very often found here because the maybe because of the weather and i really like i have seen some uh, people do use uh, eucalyptus branches for home decor and i didn't have that with me as i'm staying here um especially and another reason is that i wanted to incorporate some sort of greenery into my painting and yeah maybe that was another reason why i painted <laughs> little tutorial uh, i would say or mini canvas paintings and do let me know in the comment section below how it has turned out and i would really appreciate if you guys subscribe and for more stuff and information i do post really interesting stuff on instagram you can follow me there and yeah thanks for subscribing and showing all your support that means a lot